Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be using these four decks for your reading today. This is a weekly reading for September 25th through October 1st. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled these three decks. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds or thousands of people. If you want to subscribe, you hit the subscribe button. If you want notifications, every time I upload a video, you hit the bell. Okay, if you don't want the notifications and you just want to subscribe, you hit the subscribe. This is for Virgo, and we got a flyer right off the bat. Ooh, it's a cut through the bullshit card. Get into the bottom of it, whatever it is. Try to remember to zoom this in for you. You know I'm terrible about that. Got some big energies here right away this week. It looks like change is coming. The death card, the devil card, the chariot card, transformation is on the way. Okay, because death and chariot, they're both about transformation. Okay, so you're on the way. Your things are happening. I think you're taking action. I think, yeah, there's action. This is an action card. I think that you are. I think that you're, you're going with what you want. I think that you are moving forward. You are moving in the right direction. That's for sure. I think right in the middle of the reading, we have the Queen of Cups. That is going to represent you in this reading, even though it's the Queen of Cups. Okay? That's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's in the center of your reading. We have you down here, Virgo, as the Queen of Pentacles. But I think you're taking on a lot of her energy. You know, um, she's a she's a lover. You know, and she's not going to settle. She doesn't settle for something that isn't love. Okay? So I think that's, that's, what, that's the main focus of your reading. This card in the middle is the main focus of your reading. And it is the Queen of Cups. Okay? Love is what matters to her. Okay? Um, and that's why I think that you decide to cut through the bullshit. And, you, and I think there's a change of course. All right? I think there's a, a there's a truth that's about to come out, okay, and it may be a little blunt, all right, but um, I think it happens, and I think it shows your courage and your strength. Um, I, it does. I mean, we have the strength card as well. I think that your courage and your strength is is on high this week, and I think that you are taking action, you know, because you um, want to be loved, all right. Um, I think you have a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion, excitement here. There could be some lust with this Knight of Wands. Is the very sexual energy, okay, right next to you. And I think you're moving towards excitement. That's what you are, are wanting, is more excitement in your relationship. Um, you do have a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, pretty prominently. You have Leo more prominently. You have Scorpio, you have Capricorn, you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You do have the fire signs very prominently, though, and um, or you have another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You do have the air signs, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Um, either way, I see that you are headed in the direction of excitement, and this week looks like, looks like it's a very... Um, a good week. It looks like it's a good week for you taking a stand. I think that you are taking a stand this way in this week in that you are changing the course of your future. That's what I see. I see that you're t you're telling the the honest truth. You're doing what you need to do for you like he does. And it takes courage and confidence, all right? And it you've learned a lot. It's time to move on. 
all right I think that you're finally you know I think you've waited a long time for this this is the page of Pentacles doesn't move very fast I think that you have been waiting for this to happen that this week you finally take a stand the ace of swords is the raw truth that cuts through the bullshit gets down to the bottom of it if something has been bothering you this week it might come out it might come out um, very bluntly okay because you know you are looking for love and you and and excitement love and excitement together okay and that takes courage and strength and confidence um, I see I see you I see you putting yourself in the driver's seat and taking action this is a week of action that's all there is to it and I think that you've just waited long enough and, and the, your, your, the time is now. I do. The Ace of Pentacles is something new on a physical level. You might get it. You might have a new partner. Or you might. Now, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. You do have, you know, and it could be a life partner. Because we have the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the, I cannot talk tonight for nothing. The Queen of Wands and the, and the King of Wands. Even though they're uh, fire signs, they're a couple, okay? So this signifies to me that this next person that you, that I'm talking about, this new person that comes into your life, this new thing on a physical level, could be your life partner, okay? And it doesn't have to be a fire sign that just signifies a life partner to me, okay? Now, I see that you have a lot of desires. You do, and I think that you, your desires matter, they do, and you're taking action in regards to your desires, okay? Then up there we have the death card. That's a transformation. And we have the chariot. That's a transformation. That's a moving on. After you take the action, master your emotions, and put yourself in the driver's seat, okay? And you do it pretty quickly, all right? So I think this week is about action for you, Virgo. I do. I think that you are just moving forward and you are not wasting another minute. Justice. Ten of Swords, it's over. It's over. Something is over that you were emotionally connected to and it leads to a brand new beginning, a new chapter in your life. There could be a divorce, there could be a separation, there could be something legal that that is you know there could be because this here we have this legal issue um, the world card is a major new beginning next to the death and the chariot come on now major new beginning is right ahead of you and you are headed in that direction pretty darn quickly that's what I see death again yes sir it is there's a major new major transformation for you that's all there is to it eight of coins this one right here is um, after a lot of hard work. It's not like you didn't try. You have tried. You've tried and tried and tried. It's your turn. You've tried and persevered long enough. Okay? Now we have the Seven of Wands. You're, you're, you're still on top. You're not on the bottom. You can leave whenever you're ready. Okay, you're still on top. There's no need for you to have your defenses up anymore. Okay? That's what the Seven, the seven of Wands is about. Feeling um, like you have to be on the defensive. Like you have to defend yourself all the time. You don't have to. You're on the top. I mean, they're not even close. You can turn around and walk away. Let's see what we get for love. I see you. This is a week of action, Virgo, where you are starting a brand new path. Okay? When the death card comes out twice, I mean, it says that you are starting something new. Big transformation. All right? With the world card and the chariot, come on now. You are starting a major new beginning. A, a phase of your life is over. That world is the biggest completion there is. It's the last card in the deck. And with the two death cards, yeah, you're starting a new chapter. That's what it looks like to me. 
you're letting something go that you were emotionally connected to that was causing you to be unhappy. And it's doing the right thing for you. Now you have Scorpio here quite a bit. You do have Capricorn. Um, you have Leo. You have the all the you have fire sign here the most. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think Leo is the most prominent. Um, you have, do have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I already mentioned that, and I said the air signs. Angel romance cards. Ooh. It's true. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me make sure I got that zoomed in correctly. Oh, my gosh. It looks pretty good. All right. Love yourself first. That's for sure. And that's what you're doing. And that's why you're cutting through the bullshit. You're doing the right thing for you. And this could be if you're with somebody and you just tell them something that they need to hear. That's that's cutting through the bullshit. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. No kidding. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see connected to reconciliation. This could be somebody you've known before. Okay? This could be somebody from your childhood. Doesn't mean you dated them. Okay, it's somebody that you've known before. You've already met this romantic partner you see. Could be somebody from a past life. Either way, we have the rec reconciliation card right connected to it. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Believe it. There is. And this may not resonate for everybody, okay? Right after I say there is. But for some people, it is. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I don't know. You do. But it's right next to that devil card. There's somebody has some addictions. It could be you. It could be your current partner. Who knows? And you know there's hundreds of addictions out there. doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol. All right. Unrequited love. That's a big one. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's why death is underneath it. And it's connected to that ten of swords underneath there. Something, there's, there's nothing left there. There's nothing left. And that's why you've been calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Like that Queen of Cups, how she wants is her soulmate. That is offers love and excitement. Because this is excitement. This is a Whispers of Love card. I'm going to give you one, and I'm going to try to zoom that in. Express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. A gift is visible evidence of your loving thoughts. A gift does not need to be expensive. Showing someone your favorite place, sharing a favorite song, or writing a note of gratitude are all gifts. This lets the receiver you intend this for know that you care. Interesting. So Virgo... That's what I have. That's what I came up with. I think this is a week of cutting through the bullshit action. I think you're taking action. That's what I see. Talk to you later.